everybody. Another week, another dollar. Today is Sunday, and these are the top five things I'll be watching today in financial markets. Kicking things off at number one, updates on the coronavirus outbreak will likely remain the main driver of risk sentiment in the days ahead. Uh, stocks got slammed last week with uh, markets on Wall Street suffering their worst day in months as fears really uh, grow over the economic impact of the uh, virus. Uh, as of Sunday morning, uh, China's death toll from uh, the virus outbreak is up to 306, with the total number of confirmed cases rising to more than uh, 14,000. Uh, reports suggest that the virus has spread to more than uh, 25 countries already. So what we see really are uh, fears are spreading that the uh, health crisis will turn into a full-blown economic crisis and uh, markets clearly not liking that. We expect these numbers uh, to have an influence on trading on uh, Monday. Uh, from here, uh, the, a lot of downside and volatility is seen in the days ahead. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, we pull back even further uh, from uh, these levels, uh, even as much as uh, 5%. Question is, will this remain just a pullback or turn into a full-blown correction? We'll find that out in the days ahead. On to number two. Another wild card uh, the market will deal with uh, this week will be uh, U.S. politics. Uh, there are two major political events uh, taking place. Uh, the first is the Iowa Presidential uh, Caucus on uh, Monday. Uh, markets don't usually uh, have that much of a reaction to uh, these uh, pri to these uh, primary caucuses. However, this time it could be different as uh, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders uh, recent polls show that he is in the lead right now over uh, former Vice President uh, Joe Biden. Uh, Sanders or Sanders' win could be viewed as uh, negative uh, for the market as he is uh, one wh whose policies are likely uh, it to include raising taxes. Uh, he wants to cancel student debt. By by implementing a wealth tax on Wall Street. So obviously a Sanders win could spook markets. Uh, be on the lookout for those headlines after markets close on Monday uh, with an expected reaction ahead of, uh, with an expected reaction, either a gap down open or a gap up open on uh, Tuesday. Uh, the second big event on the political sphere in the coming week will be uh, President Trump's State of the Union address. Uh, that will be on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Will be, uh, see, well, it'll be interesting to see uh, whether the president uh, drops any hints regarding uh, potential uh, further tax cuts for the middle class, uh, something which his uh, advisors, uh, Larry Kudlow and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, have mentioned in the past. Uh, so that could obviously be a, a jolt uh, to risk sentiment, especially if things get bad on uh, Monday and Tuesday leading uh, to the speech. On to number three. It's another big week of earnings. We're about the halfway point of uh, the key four earnings season. Uh, Google will be in the news when it kicks things off on uh, Monday after the closing bell. Of interest to me specifically, uh, we'll be taking a close look at Google's advertising growth uh, or advertising revenue growth uh, numbers, as well as any indications uh, of how it faces and how it, it is dealing with uh, competition in the fast-growing cloud computing business. Uh, Google Cloud has been making strides but it's still a distant third uh, when uh, when compared uh, with uh, Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure any hints uh, from a uh, management regarding a uh, potential regulatory fines uh, which the company's facing uh, in 2020 would also be of interest on to number four staying on the earnings front uh, streaming and entertainment giant Walt Disney uh, reports its uh, latest figures on uh, Wednesday, on Tuesday after the closing bell. Uh, excuse me. It'd be interesting to see uh, what Disney's uh, update on uh, the Disney Plus streaming service uh, subscriber growth numbers will be. Uh, in addition, uh, would be interesting also as well to hear from uh, management regarding how the uh, recent coronavirus is affecting its business in China. Uh, it, it shut down some parks uh, over there uh, as a response uh, to try to curb uh, the uh, spread of the virus. So as well, House of Mouse will be in focus this week. And finally, on the uh, economic calendar, the U.S. jobs report will uh, be the main uh, focus on the economic calendar. Uh, that is due on Friday. Uh, we're expecting jobs growth of 161K with the unemployment rate holding steady at 3.5%. In addition to the jobs number, we also get uh, updates uh, from the ISM on the manufacturing sector as well as uh, service sector activity. 
Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that shapes Fed rate cut expectations uh, through for later this year. Markets right now expecting at 85% probability of a Fed rate cut by July, according to Investing.com's Fed rate monitor tool. Uh, so again, how that data comes out will have a impact on uh, Fed rate cut expectations. So a lot on the plate this week. As always, may the trading gods be with you and have a good week, everybody. Uh -huh.